thought everybody said yesterday you guys were looking for that 60 minute effort. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, I think so. I think right off the bat, uh, being able to get that, that first goal, I think it was huge to kind of get the momentum and I mean, the fans uh, right away kind of kind of got into the game and and then we kind of closed the door and uh, obviously we uh, we got a lot of shots in the third period but still we were shut defensively they didn't really have much and, and when they did uh, I mean Grizz uh, played his best best game of the series. Clark, were you just determined to come out and set your tone early to get on Crosby and then have the goal in the first minute? Set up too more goals. Yeah, well, wasn't planned to kind of hit Crosby. Just sometimes when you got a chance to to hit another player, I think yeah, you just got to go out there and do it. And uh, was able to do it for a shift. So uh, I think uh, tonight again, our bench, everybody was positive. Everybody's having fun, and and uh, the last two games, I think that's what we were missing. We 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 were kind of playing hard, but we weren't having fun doing it. We we're just playing a playing a little, me little messy up there, and uh, I mean, it was, uh, it was a great effort, and playing that game was a lot of fun tonight. Did you maybe take a little bit of a personal challenge, kind of all the headlines that probably involved yet, that you wanted to be considered in their class and show that you're as good, if not better than them? Well, anything you do, you, you want to be the best at it, and uh, I mean, if uh, that's to score goals or do hits or block shot, whatever it is, uh, I'm going I'm to try to do it, and I mean, you saw uh, Scott Hardinall uh, diving uh, on his two knees to block a shot, and uh, it was kind of close to his private areas. But yeah, uh, <laughs> 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 he cracked his stick over the net at the end of that game. Did you think it's your mind to that point before this game? Yeah, I got a little anger management sometimes. Uh, <laughs> not when I'm ha not happy about my game, I kind of blame myself, and uh, I think well, I think that, that's good. Obviously, it's. Uh, it wasn't very classy to to do in front of everybody. I should have done it in an open room, but you know what? You got to do. You got to do. When you uh, with Briz is playing like, that, is there at some point in the game where you say this is Briz's best game? I mean, was there was there a save or something that you saw that you said? Okay, well, with he's Briz, you kind of you can tell before a game when he's focused, he's um, kind of in a bubble and kind of does his own thing. And I mean. It, it's weird to say, but in the warm up we kinda of know if he's uh, gonna have a great game and he was he's ready to go. He he was he was our best player on the ice tonight and uh, he gave us our uh, uh, our uh, ourselves a chance to win. How can you tell? That what that he's ready to go. Like what what is it about in the warm up? Well, that's a, a little secret uh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> that's right, really? <laughs> what happened to make the worst thing you guys were still able to yeah, it's kind of a story this year. Yeah, guys are going down, and some other guys step up. I mean, uh, Gus, uh, Gus was unbelievable tonight. He's uh, and, uh, and and another player that people don't really see on the ice, but he's doing a great job. Is uh, Kabina. He's he's a smart player. He's always in good position, and uh, I mean that's uh, that's a guy it's hard, it's hard to play against because he's got a big reach, a big guy, and uh, he's uh, he's gonna hurt you. So. Uh, I mean, just overall, our review were unbelievable tonight, and uh, uh, that's our story this year. People are just uh, stepping up. Is there pressure when you have a 3-2 lead, you were up 3-0, and knowing that you still could, you could face a game seven and turn, and it a bit of pressure is it spoken about? Is it, is it yeah, the there's actually pressure, especially when we you know it's possible. We did it uh, two or three years ago, I'm not too sure, but... Uh, uh, I said it before, if there was a team that could do it, it was Pittsburgh. And, uh, we didn't want to go back to Pittsburgh. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty good over there, and their, their fans kind of, kind of give them a little boost. So, but uh, I mean, our fans are, uh, are crazy. Or uh, I'm just happy they're, uh, they're on our side. <laughs> what made the power play so effective that you were just able to get so many goals? Was there something you saw in the film, something they did, or is it just you guys worked it better than ever? Well. We played the whole year in the same power play pretty much, and we kind of know what the other guys are going to do, and we support each other pretty good. So, and uh, we try to put pucks on that, and and uh, similar similar spot the best uh, to get those garbage in front of net. He puts everything in the net, and and Hart sees uh, his strong stick, so uh, they make our uh, our job a lot easier to uh, those two guys, and uh, they're uh, they're playing great. Thank you very much. In game four, you apologize. Something like this will never happen again. Why were you so sure? Because the effort wasn't there. That's not the way we play. That's not the way uh, uh, Flyers organization is uh, 
is uh, proven to be. And uh, in the past, I don't think they, uh, they ever back down like that. It's, uh, it's uh, un un unacceptable, especially at home. There's no emotion. We didn't even touch anybody out there. Not, not our game. And uh, the message was clear. And I just saw it tonight. Guys were playing hard. Uh, I mean, uh, in that game, I don't think we blocked one shot. And tonight, guys were, uh, were throwing themselves in front of the puck. And that, just little details, that's how you're going to win. Thank you very much.